Hey guys, Isaac Walton here for Hunting the River King. Today I've got a special video for you. This is a little bit of a mystery, a puzzle solving video, and it is what happened to the Tencent Ying drone. Now, for a little bit of background, Tencent is a giant Chinese company. It's a multimedia giant over there, okay? Um, and back in October, they had this huge announcement that they were coming out with that Ying drone. I mean, take a look at this trailer for it. It looks fantastic. Sure, there's a lot of CG rendering, um, but it looks like an amazing drone. Not only is it small and compact, as you can see here, but it also is folding, so you can easily throw it in a backpack, travel with it, take it with you on hikes, the kind of things I would get really excited about. Um, additionally, I don't think it's just pure vaporware, because take a look at this video. This was shot at an electronic expo. Here's someone actually demoing the drone, not so much flying it, but just showing off how it folds in and out. Um, a few words on its features. It has a Snapdragon processor, very similar to a lot of other Follow Me selfie drones. That's actually why it was being demoed at that electronic expo to show off one of the drones using the Snapdragon processor that offers the Follow Me mode and some other cool stuff. GPS, GLONASS, connectivity. Um, I believe it connects with a mobile phone. You don't need an actual controller for it. So it's very similar to like the unique Breeze per se. I mentioned the folding arms already. It has a camera that can shoot up to 4K, but once it's stabilized, it's actually 1080p. I think it's uh, 720 FPS. Um, one cool thing is the field of view on the actual drone itself. Uh, field of view is pretty wide, unlike some other ones. It's using a 190 degree wide angle lens. I mentioned the camera, 13 megapixel camera. Um, has an electronic image stabilization. It doesn't have a gyro, I'm not a gyro, a gimbal attached to it. And I mentioned the follow me mode and some of the other cool stuff. And the price point. This thing was supposed to come in around 300 US dollars, making it one of the more affordable selfie pocket smaller drones. Did weigh a little bit more. It's 425 grams from what the numbers online have reported. Um, so making it a little bit heavier and one that would need FAA registration. So what happened to this drone? Where is it? It was announced back in October. A lot of fanfare. People saying this would be a Mavic killer or at least a low-budget Mavic. Has a really cool profile, really cool design. Where is it? It's over seven months since it was announced. What happened? So I did a lot of digging to answer this exact question because honestly the Tencent Ying drone was one that I was really following closely and it looked really promising. If you've watched my other videos you've probably seen how I really like drones like the Dobby drone or the Hubson H501S drone. These are all follow me mode drones um, that offer GPS connectivity and can fly quite well actually when they're working out. Um, I even reached out to Tencent to try to find out their answer for this haven't heard anything. However, I was able to get in touch with a representative from Zero Tech. Now, Zero Tech is the company that made the awesome Dobby drone. I've had lots of videos from the Dobby drone, and it's basically like an early predecessor to the Tencent Ying. It has follow me mode, it can fold, it can actually fit in your pocket, which the Tencent can't do. Um, it has uh, electronic image stabilization. It's a little more expensive than the Tencent drone, and it's a little bit smaller, and the field of view is definitely smaller. I think it's around 90 degrees rather than 190. Um, but it's actually out, and it's available, as you can see with the videos I've shot with here that I'm actually showing off. And it's a great drone. I love it. It's not the perfect drone. It's not for everyone one, but I've had a lot of awesome flights with it, and I really enjoy using this to film. Um, so Tencent actually partnered with Zero Tech, at least from what I understand, this is all hearsay, it's not exactly confirmed, um, to help make the Tencent Ying drone. They shared some of the technology between the two companies, but the rep I spoke with couldn't confirm whether or not Tencent was going to go ahead with a wide-scale release of the Ying drone. Now, a few sites actually said that the Ying drone was already available for sale in China. That's not technically true. I looked into this as well. On Taobao, which is like eBay for China, only a million times bigger, um, it's nowhere to be found. Searched extensively for it. However, if you go to the Tencent website, you'll find this, an option to purchase a drone. When you actually go to the drone's page, you can't purchase it. What it says instead is that this was some sort of special one-time, almost like an event. Specifically, translation comes across like this. The first round of closed beta sales ended. The second round of opening time, please pay attention to the official website, and you can have it notify you when this comes back around. So it sounds like Tencent had a really small release of this drone. Um, so small scale that was basically like a beta test. 
and it didn't make its way into any social media, into any YouTube video reviews, or even um, an aftermarket sales on Taobao or AliExpress. So what does the future hold for the Tencent Ying drone? For now, it sounds like it wasn't quite vaporware. It actually was a real drone. It's just probably never going to be released in the U.S. at this point and might not even be released anymore in China. It may have just been a one-time promotional event, and that's the last we're going to hear of it. It's really too bad because it looked like a very promising drone, has some of the cool features of Dobby, plus some of the cool features of the unique breeze, possibly a um, sort of dampener system for the camera. I think the Zero Explore Mini uses it too. But will we ever get to get our hands on it and try it out, or at least hear from someone? Sounds like probably not. So that's my update on the Tencent Ying drone. Good news is there's a lot of exciting new selfie follow me drones coming out. Perfect for hiking, for fishing, for just taking quick shots and being able to throw it in the backpack for your trip. Um, Dobby's got a new drone coming out. Uh, Zero Tech, I should say, has a new drone coming out called the Hesper. Looks a lot like the Mavic. Looks really cool. Um, supposed to have about an 18-minute flight time. DJI has their Spark coming out. And another company called Fema Robotics has the J.me drone coming out. Uh, you can actually purchase that already. Hopefully we'll have some more info and a video review of it coming soon. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Later.